Na. Hello. Hello, welcome to us for a low budget podcast run by low budget podcast runners. Thank you very much. Sam. Brilliant intro. Really? Yeah, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Even the clapping was low budget. <laughs> we could have added a clapping sound effect, but instead I had a pen in my hand, so I couldn't actually make the vacuum sound, so it just sounded like a muffle. And if you don't know, the logo is done by Felt Tip, and it really looks like it. Uh-huh. But we have printed a... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Right, we've printed... Our, um, our other podcast, which is called Geek Lord, you should also watch. We keep saying this, but the only people that watch us is one person, basically, other than some weird guy called Ted, who has his own YouTube channel. About Actually, don't we, talk to me about like 250 views, don't we? I don't know, but apparently, if you want to have ads, that's how you make money. If you want to make money, you have to have a thousand hours of view time and a thousand views. I think. So I think a thousand views is close, and if we want a thousand hours of view time, we just get skulls to put put like on on um. So about about like a hundred something episodes will be a thousand hours of view time, right? We can do that because <sighs> we only need to have fifty episodes of Geek Lord and fifty episodes of I Forgot. So you know, when we're sixteen, we'll be making. We won't need to get a second job. We, we'll just go to university and we won't need to work in a shop or something because we got this. That's if anybody actually watches us. I know we can easily make a thousand hours of view time because we've got nothing else to do. But have you got You're nothing else to do? So you watch us. That's the question. So, um. Uh, so welcome to our podcast. We haven't had a topic yet. Every episode we pick a topic to speak about over a half an hour time limit. Well, it's not really a limit, but it'll take about two hours to load if you're not. So, um, our topic today is undecided, as always. Well, occasionally we get someone comment in, ask our topic. I might even ask some of our relatives, because but every single person that I know have said politics. I don't know whether we should do that or not. This isn't a politics podcast. This is a fun podcast about stories of horrible people destroying Geek Club and things like that. And Yetis eating lollipops, which we haven't actually talked about yet. So, our topic is Yetis eating yolo- lollipops, and it's going to last about 10 seconds. Laurie, please go into more depth about Yetis eating lollipops. I don't know. That's basically all you need to say. Nobody knows about yetis eating lollipops. We don't even know about yetis. We know about lollipops. There's lemon. There's, um... Strawberry. Strawberry. But... Cherry. You might call an ice lolly, if you're in America, a lollipop. In England, we called them... Like... I think you call them suckers or something? Like... They're lollipops, the boiled sweets that you lick, we call them ices, okay? Lollipops are ices. And most yetis are American, but I'm talking about a snow yeti here. I'm talking about the, um, what's it called? Isn't it like the, uh, the, isn't it like, Hampstead yeti? So I, mean, I know it's close because my dad went to see it once and apparently they saw it, but I don't believe him. So it's close to us and this yeti's a snow yeti. So he's going to be uh, eating ices, not lollipops. And see, we could keep a conversation about yetis eating lollipops going for a while. Um, I'm just picking up a yeti Lego figure, look, eating a lollipop. Which I'm actually going to take a picture of and put in the editing. So I'm going to remember to do that by making a weird sound sequence. 
So when I look at the audio, it looks weird. So I know it's gonna be that. You ready? Ah, uh, 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 ah. Uh, ah, uh. okay, right. Now I remember to put a picture in. Look at the picture. This is what they look like. You can see their big long fangs going over there. Their mouth is covered by a beard, but there's no, act there's not actually a hole in their beard for a mouth. So he will not be able to eat anything. These little yetis only live for about a, a day or two because they can't eat anything because they've got a massive beard covering their mouth. They also have eyebrows, very, very big eyebrows and small eyes, but their pupils are white and their eyes are black, the opposite to us, and they don't even have an iris. Um, the lollipop he's eating is kind of yellowish green. It looks a bit like a mouldy um, lemon lollipop or ice. He's got blue hands and they're curved in a C, as any Lego figure is. But, um, surprisingly, the Harvested Yeti also has curved hands. Um, that's basically what I need to say about the lollipop eating, or the ices eating, um, um, Yeti. Join us next time, where we'll be talking about the, the choco, um, the, um, chocolate brick eating Yeti. But that's all for now. Thank you. <laughs> that was our nature so reporter. Talk about the, um, See, that the, was a good topic. Um, I talked the about three monsters walking along a fence. Okay, sea monsters walking along a fence. Can you take a picture of That's that and then great. send it to me so I can take a picture of that and then we can edit it onto the video? All right, let me just get my chair closer. Okay, now sea monsters walking along the fence. No three. Oh, number. free monsters. Free monsters. Okay. Just keep it on there. Well, one monster is purple, one is blue, and one is green. These have been photographed by a professional photographer. You can see the white background, not because it's been taken from a piano book that Laurie got from his teacher, Miss Smith, but because it's been taken in the snow. They are in Russia, where it's very cold and snowy. And as um, as you do in Russia, they've been learning to tightrope walk. So these monsters, there's three of them on the tightrope walking pole, and they're learning. So it's more of a tightrope than a fence. And they're learning to walk across it and, um, well, be happy. One of them's got some weird noses. They look a bit like um one of them American football the baseball mascot mascots with the big mascot, noses. Yeah. Or um what's that guy? What's that like creature? The extraterrestrial life thing is called like he's got a weird nose. E. Ow uh, Alf, isn't it? Oh Alf, yeah. Alf, yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit like Alf, one of them. The other one just is undescribable. He's got shock ears that match the colour of his skin and they've been sewed on with ribbons so small you can't see them. So it looks like they're his actual ears. And they're hockey socks, by the way, so they're very long. Or they've just been stretched from normal socks. We don't know yet. We're going to consult scientists on that. So that's basically so, all you need to know monsters. about these sea they monsters live walking live, on fences. They live in the bottom of... The Empire State Building, and <laughs> they make these weird noises like go, and when they do that, a bunch of mysterious electric eels come out from the drain and go, and then, uh, and so if then, this is the first time watching this podcast, people have to whack all the electric Sorry. And they go on a raid every night. <clears throat> Sorry, if you haven't seen this podcast, the, um, our Prime Minister, head of our canon party, Sir, the, the Right Honourable Sir Lucas George de Fuffle, Star Wars Kiddington, head of Warlocks Equality, our Prime Minister has failed to give us a topic, even though he does every week. 
So he's been a bit okay, ill. Um, like the current prime minister of, um, the current prime minister of Castadonia. Castadonia is our hell. It's basically the real world. Um, he's also ill. But this, um, our prime minister is not suffering from coronavirus. He's suffering from modern musicism. No, which... he's suffering from having kids with a lousy child who just got bored. <laughs> so I, I, I suffered from this for a while. It's called modern musicism. You listen to a oh, yeah, piece of modern music, and then you just get it stuck in your head. So you have to listen to classical music, and it gets stuck in your head. Then you have to listen to modern music. So really, what you modern want to do? Music might be the worst ever. Yes. So if you want to. I mean, After I got it, I spent the whole day humming Havana Nana, and then, and then, um, I spent the whole day humming them too. So I realised what I had to do. I I slept on it, and it went. But I realised I found the solution. You've got to listen to confusing music, like um, as Rhett and Link, which you should watch in their music videos, like. I don't like smooth jazz. I like my jazz to be confusing and disorienting. So you need to listen to confusing jazz that has like no if tune. If you want to hear a song, go to Beat Club because I think it's tomorrow. No, not tomorrow because that's your birthday. Maybe on the eighth. So two days away, we're going to do a rap battle. We may not have it done because it's taking quite a long bit. After we um do this episode, we're gonna write some lyrics. We'll do an episode because it's Conrad's birthday. Got my pen. And two days and then two days after that, it's my birthday. So I don't even know if we'll do an episode on birthday either. I think we should do a short happy birthday episode to me, and then a short happy birthday episode to you. So. But a shorter one for me. Oh uh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I really want to tell you your present. I mean. It's kind of good. Don't get excited. It's, um... I hope you haven't get it. I think some one of your relatives is going to get it. And I hope you don't already have it. Do you already have it? Um, uh, I, I'm not supposed to know your presents. So how would I know if I have it or not? Okay, I don't think you already have it. I don't think you already have it. But don't tr- don't get it, okay? Well, I can't really do this. Don't buy anything. <laughs> I won't buy anything. It's really my birthday. Why would I? Well, buy somebody it? else gets it for you because they know you like Star Wars. That's so dumb. Yeah. I'll keep. You can give it back to me. <laughs> you give it to I don't know someone else who likes Star Wars. Give it to Vaughn. Are maybe. you referring to you? No, I've already got it. Ah. So then we can we can join together and use them. Like our kit fistos. But I think you should give it to Vorgan if you don't, so he can start learning stuff. Yeah. It's uh you'll find out your present tomorrow. Okay. I want ripped on. Right, today usually they cost ten pounds fifty, but it costs ten pounds. Oh. Terrible. Right, so we have another podcast called geek lord and today my grandfather is coming over in the afternoon and sitting in the front lawn and he's going to give me five t-shirts one is four of them are personal but one of them is a very special t-shirt i'm going to print another soon and give it to you laurie one of them is a special t-shirt my personal ones are bell tacos which is my taco company that i drew and then i've got um vote for conrad uh the great ramen of Kanawaga, or Kawagana, I can't remember, and then Totoro, but the special one is Geek Lord, I made a Geek Lord t-shirt, which is, um, our channel was I Forgot Geek Lord, because this is I Forgot You're Listening To, the podcast, we've got another podcast called Geek Lord, and I've printed a t-shirt, so if we can print a lot more, we might even have merchandise, so keep your eye out, I don't know how you're supposed to buy it, but you can, maybe. We just put somehow yeah or star own company uh, website where you buy it and then um one of our parents partners went to america to deliver it to some spoiled kid he's like i asked for a t-shirt that was black not white yeah <laughs> we're not going to be picky like you see them youtube
because you like are like you can buy this t-shirt and this t-shirt and they have about 20 different t-shirts and then they say like and then you can buy black white pink red blue yellow we're just gonna have one color only we're gonna have white with a few white. stuff on it and that's it we're only gonna have like two prototypes of t-shirt that i forgot one and the geek law one maybe a couple of others but you know we might have a combined i forgot a geek law one so, um, we're 15 minutes in, Laurie, so what is your trivia of the day? Make it a weird one, because today's your episode has been a weird one. Talking about... My trivia of the day is... Where does a rare pink monster come from? It needs to be real, Laurie. It needs to be real, Laurie. It is real, he's right there. <laughs> okay, right, I'll give you a question then. To a set an example, we need discipline. Um, who is the fish and chips monster's best cousin? Um, I'm joking. Um, it is fish and chips monster's best cousin. Correct. Oh, and my bonus question is: This is going to be a real question. Let me think. Hmm. Uh, all right. By the way, I beheaded the Yeti. Here's a picture of it beheaded. There. I'll know to go 15 minutes in to put that picture of the beheaded Yeti. Thank you. I did that all by myself. Now. Uh, make the so we know to put it in. Who, when, and why? No. Um. What is How many countries are there in the world? Oh, um don't know. Isn't it one hundred and ninety five? Alexa, how many countries are there? One hundred and ninety-seven. What did you say? So, Laurie, as um, wait. The, the actual number of places in the world is unknown. Apparently, that's crazy. Well, I guess because there's North Sentinel Island. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. If you didn't know about North Sentinel Island, you come to the right place. I'll talk about that in a new episode. In another episode. What is? Because I know a fair bit about it. Okay. Okay, right. I'm going to do a number question. Like, a how, what, name where these instruments come from. But let me think. Okay. I've already done that before. I know. Let's do it a second time. This is oh, round. This is. Oh, I need some fancy sound effects. Okay, right, right. This is. Um. Let's think of the sound effect. All right, I got a good one. All right, this is round two oh, no. of. Where did this country come from? Special, non-special. Wait, you said where, where, does come from? where does this music from this instrument in this country come from? Special music edition. Now, right. What in where does this instrument come from? All right, name. Right, name. Three instruments. No wait, where does this instrument come from? The. Uh, let me think. I've already run out. Where does... Mm, where does... Where does... Ah, uh, wait. Let me think. Let me think. First one is an easy one. It's going to build up. Where does the Chinese flute come from? 
<laughs> it comes from. Let's think. Where does the Chinese flu come from? Well, can't be China. I'm gonna say China. Correct. Number two. Oh my gosh, I got it wrong. Number two. The. Where does the English violin come from? <laughs> The fiddle. Um, where does the where does the bottle come from? The bottle. When you find a bottle and you go. Ah, <coughs> uh, that comes from England. It's ancient Celt. Yeah, I was actually going to say America, but you make a fair point. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I know so much history, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at it, but you know. We brewed into a bottle. Yeah, I found one on my shelf. It's, it's, it has it says poison on it. I'll put a is picture it of it now. Plastic? I'm gonna have to listen to this whole episode because I've got so many pictures in it or something. So you know, rattle it. <laughs> right, where did this instrument come from? The the djembe. No. no. I don't know where the djembe comes from. You don't know where the djembe comes from. I no, no, I do. You. I just thought you might ask me it. Where does the djembe and come then you from? you forget that we did it in drumming. Where does no, the djembe come, come from? from? I know where it comes from. Where? I just thought you'd ask me it because you'd think I didn't know where it was when actually we did it in drumming. Well, actually, it's percussion. We did percussion, not drumming. Where is it then? What? Where is it then? Where's it Where's come from? Djembe. Oh, Mali, Ghana, Which Nigeria, Which Nigeria. one? Pick one. Mali, Mali, Western no. Africa, No, Nigeria, it was Ghana. Ghana. It was Ghana. Did I say Ghana? No, you okay. said Mali. I said Western Africa. Yeah. Well, you needed the Pacific country. Pacific. Pacific. Specific. Specific. Which one is it? Is it specific or is it Pacific? Specific. 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 I said it too many times. I can't remember how the word goes. Specific. 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 <laughs> I don't think you were expecting that. One million views. Apparently, they're a YouTuber with like one thousand subscriber subscribers. Well, you know, um, it's not hard to get views. It's not as hard to get views as it is to get subscribers. Come on, can't you subscribe, please? I, I know you like the, the uh, Yeti eating ices. Every episode should be like this. This has been a good episode. I'm feeling lively because I'm getting my t-shirts today. And I'm going to wear them all the time. And then my birthday's coming tomorrow. So. Yeah, and then my birthday's coming in three days. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm going to get very annoyed. I think we should do an episode. Her, on the, the my second day after my birthday, I have to get up early in the morning. I think we should um stop this episode at 25 because I've got a special episode in mind. It's not going to take long. It's one of your grandparents, isn't it? No. 
Who is it with? Uh, it's not with anyone. Anyway, thanks for watching. I forgot. We are five minutes short, but, you know, we normally have 32 or 31 minute videos. Thank you for watching. Watch our other podcast, Geek Lord, where we talk about Star Wars and Harry Potter and um, well, Lord of the Rings. We've only but so stuff. far, we've so only spoken about Star Wars. About other geeky topics, tell us. Yeah, if you want us to talk about another geek com- topic... Just go ahead. Say because that we're we being bad. We don't do any stupid. others if you don't tell us to. Yeah. And Star Wars Kid. Get on your nerves. Give us topics. How are we supposed to make videos for you to watch if you don't? If we don't have any topics. I mean, we are YouTubers. We are kind of supposed to think of them. But that's not the point. Oh, I can say I'm a YouTuber now. I've never said that before. I thought it was a bit trendy. But, you know, it depends what your YouTube channel does. If our YouTube channel is called mm-hmm. Geek Lord, then we're not trendy. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. And go and behead an ice-eating um, yeti. But actually, they're not easy to behead. I mean, they're easy to behead. They, they do have quite a stiff spine, but they do, don't have a mouth, so they can't retaliate. So. There's the monsters that have gone to the first eight four days. When they jump, what happens is a bunch of flames come from their feet, and then they have a jetpack, and they go... Well, that biologically has never happened before, so... Yeah, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a, um, a different monster, isn't it? Maybe. We, we might put that in a new episode, a special episode. I'll show you real footage of one. Here... This, um... This monster has a belly button, yeah? See it? Do you see it, Laurie? I'm not going to put it on camera. Yeah. But, yeah, I can see it. But then when you put his beard on, you can't see it anymore. The belly button goes. Aww. Anyway, thank you for watching. You can cry that you can't see his belly button, but it's not going to help anything. That's my motto. Now, thanks for watching and goodbye. Laurie's video's paused, so can you still hear me? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm planning my picture. Right, let's say goodbye. For the monster. Goodbye. Bye.